ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Sunday, honey. When I tell you, today has been crazy, okay? I slept in late, I woke up, and Twitter was in shambles. My timeline was in shambles. My Discord was in shambles. <laughs> People were going crazy because it was so much drama that went down today. If you guys do not know, honey, JT from the City Girls, Young Miami, Asian Doll, oh my God, they were all beefing today, Meg the Stallion. Uh, Asian doll's sister got involved. Kelsey was laughing. Carl Crawford from 1501 was here for it. Cupcake had her popcorn. This shit was a crazy mess, right? So long story short, everybody wanted me to do a live stream today. I cannot. This was just too much to unpack. It's literally taken me two hours just to put this video together because I want to break down everything in chronological order. I want y'all to get caught up, understand where all this beef came from. And then tomorrow I will do a live stream because this would have been too much to unpack during a live. The live stream would have been damn near four hours. And I ain't got time for that. OK, so I want y'all to watch this video, get caught up, get up to date on everything that's going down. This is a full break down and then tomorrow we will do the live stream okay i don't want no slow pokes i don't want no confused people in the stream i want folks to understand what went down today okay what is the tea the girls are fighting no <laughs> yes azealia the girls are fighting and you are not included in that damn beef so far back sis okay so this entire situation is crazy. So let me go ahead and just kind of break this down. So what went down is this. If you guys do not know, Meg Thee Stallion and City Girls, they have a song out. It came out back like on November 20th and it's called Do It On The Tip. And so this song has been, you know, people been rocking with it. It's on TikTok, all that stuff. And so nobody, nobody at all. Here comes Asian Doll. And she basically, you know, spilt the tea and let people know that she was supposed to be on that song before the City Girls and that she was replaced. And she decided to share her verse with everybody else. She wanted everybody to check this out. So this is where all of this came from. This is where all this tea and drama started. It was from this past Friday, Asian Doll posting the original song to do it on the tip with her version. So basically it showed the world that Meg dissed her own friend because Asian Doll and Meg are friends in real life. So she dissed her own friend to put two girls who have dissed her in the past and who were never really rocking with her before to put them on the track just because they were hotter. I'm practicing for outside. Period, baby. We were outside ready. Okay. We ready. We outside. I love your sister. Period. I know. I miss you. I miss you too. When outside, I'll be back up. I'm coming. I don't care. Where you at? You in Miami? Huh? You in Miami? You know, I, I, just, I stay in Atlanta now. Damn. I know. Hey. You in Miami? No, I'm in LA. But well, I, I was finna go to China House. They um they canceled my flight. They what? Canceled my flight. That's it, bitch. We ain't going nowhere. Corona outside. Again, social climbing, like I've been saying. And so Asian Doll was taken off of the song. She was not told this by Meg. She knew nothing about it until the song hit, you know, the airwaves and City Girls was on there. So she definitely felt a way like, hold on, like I'm supposed to be your friend. Why would you not at least call me and let me know? So she took to social media to basically play the original song for her followers to let them know that she was on the original track. Y'all go ahead and check this out. He rocking, he icy and cocky. Big racks, he don't fuck with niggas till them get back. I just heard both of those 15 second snippets so a lot of folks were shocked like damn you know Asian Doll if you guys don't know has always gone hard for Meg okay she's one of the few female celebrities who have taken up for her during the whole Tory Lane situation went to back for her even when people like me and others saw through the bullshit Asian Doll had blind loyalty for Meg okay like can't nobody tell me what to say, what not to say when it comes to my friend. Literally, like, when you knew the truth and you been knowing, and that shit really just bothers you because you see how that person is carrying it. So y'all don't try to tell, I don't give a fuck if it's me or anybody else. Don't try to tell nobody how to defend a friend, period. 
City girls, on the other hand, have dissed Meg plenty of times. But to be fair, the beef between City girls and Meg was started by Meg. Once again, Meg was being messy. That's when there were rumors spreading that her and Wiz Khalifa were messing around. And she had posted a video of Wiz Khalifa basically, you know, giving her props and saying it's a hot girl summer. It's all about, you know, hot boys and, you know, city boys are down. And so she was being very messy. And Carisha was the only one out at that time. The other girl, JT, was in prison. And so Carisha responded back to Meg. So they've always had this underlying beef. They since, you know, let the beef die down. And now they're fake industry friends. But Asian Doll was a real friend to her. So I definitely understand where Asian Doll is coming from. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I said the hot girls is up, my nigga. You a what? I'm a hot boy. A motherfucking hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> who up though? Who up though? Who up though? Hot girls is up. City boys, <laughs> you're done. Yeah. All right, so you guys just saw those damn tweets between the two of them and why I played the clown music. And why I use the clown music is because all these people are clowns, okay? Let's also not forget that wonderful live stream where young Miami's son asked her. He said, Mommy, do you like Megan? And young Miami was like, no. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and check this out. Are you and Megan friends? Huh? No. All right, so you guys just saw that tidbit. I want to go ahead and shout out, honey, Erratic Unicorn. We searched for hours for that clip, okay? Thank y'all to everybody who has helped me and brought receipts. Because I remember all this shit, but sometimes you don't know where stuff is at. So I appreciate y'all's help on the matter. So again, this is a bunch of fake industry shit for y'all who don't know. So people found it so funny that she's so quick to go team up with city girls. Once again, social climbing, as opposed to somebody who's been loyal to her and who's been a real friend to her. So this caused a lot of drama. And so people was going at JT and Young Miami and saying, that's not right. Y'all weren't supposed to be on this track. So JT took to social media and she said, a real friend is something you bitches really don't know about. I've been good, but I'm going to start laying attention seeking hoes out and I'm coming with facts. Sympathetic assholes are really starting to grind my gears for real. Then she says, like, you know, it's going to draw attention and cause commotion. Why speak on it? Mind you, mind you lying, but go off. So that's what JT said. So, of course, the fans ran to Asian Doll and they're like, oh, she's talking about you. And that's when Asian Doll came out and says, if JT ain't say my name, then she wasn't talking to me. Stop being messy because what I said was between me and Megan. I don't give a fuck about mundane shit. And then she goes on to say, this whole song is getting out of hand. My intentions weren't bad when I played it. I don't want to be on the deluxe. I don't want to put it out. I played it because it's never coming out. I don't need to be a pick me bitch because at the end of the day, I'm having my way with this shit. Then she went on to say, I'm independent. I owe my own master shit. Everything that's got Asian doll on it. I was true friends with bitches. Never even talked to them about music. I was called and asked to do the song. Someone told me don't do it anyway. So I didn't. Weeks later, I was reminded to do it. So I did it. Then she says a lot of shit I don't even deserve because God knows my intentions. But these bitches don't make it no better. How you don't defend a bitch that runs to defend you. So then after Asian Dot went off, people started asking Meg. They're like, OK, Meg, we need answers. Why was Asian Dot removed off of Do The Tip? Um, because she killed it. Because a lot of people said that Asian Dot sounded better than the city girls. And so... Meg didn't say anything. She saw a lot of this stuff brewing. She saw, you know, kind of the back and forth. And then people caught Meg in JT's live stream, you know, hitting her with the heart eye emoji. And so at that point, um, so then at that point, Asian doll definitely felt the way she was very upset. And so she was like, instead of saying something, you hop on her live with the heart eyes. But I was your shoulder to cry on, huh? I had your back when the whole world didn't, huh? I went against my nigga for our friendship, huh? Bet. So at that point, Asian Dot went off and she was like, friendship ended next. 
So it was insane. So, of course, Meg the Stallions, you know, her horse fans, they never take responsibility for anything. She's always the victim. So then they started attacking the guy who made the beat. And they were going off on him, saying that it was his fault he was causing female drama, that he's supposedly the one who sent the beat to not only to not only Megan, but to Asian Doll to cause beef. So then he had to come out and, you know, basically defend himself. Like, this is just ridiculous. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So I know y'all see this Asian Doll and Megan shit. They posting this video of me and Asian Doll in the studio. Literally, Sony flew me to Atlanta. Last year, in like October, and I got in the studio with Asian Doll, and that was the one time ever that I talked to Asian Doll last year. We started working on good news this year. I have not been in contact with Asian Doll since fucking last year. In that one time. Like y'all, y'all, y'all are fucking insane, bro. Like, are y'all stupid? Like, why, why would I see Asian doll a beat for? All right, so you guys just saw what the producer had to say. So then, if that's not crazy enough, JT went off. Okay, and JT and um, Asian Doll, they went back and forth. Then Young Miami jumped into it. So it was all of them going back and forth on Twitter. And then out of nowhere, nobody, nobody at all. Here comes Roland Ray. He ends up getting involved. He's a wheelchair man who's always in some drama with Saucy Santana. I don't know their backstory. And I don't care. But this whole situation is crazy. So Roland Ray gets involved. He says that, you know, he'll take on Saucy Santana and that Asian Doll can take on JT and then they can just call C. CPS on Carisha. So this entire situation is just insane. Carisha claps back at Roland Ray and then Saucy Santana gets on live and he goes in on him. Y'all go ahead and check this out. This whole thing is just a mess. So that whole situation was a hot damn mess. So after all this took place online with all these people going back and forth, here comes Meg the Stallion galloping on her horse with her tiny violin. So Meg says, 
I hate that this got blown out of proportion. It was never as deep as the comments made it seem. If I got on this app trying to defend myself every time somebody makes some shit up about me or clapping back at random MFers, I don't know, I'd be miserable all day, every day. So then somebody asks is Meg the following. You speaking, but you didn't defend sis when she was defending you. So then Meg says this. Then she goes on to say, when Asian dog got into her accident, I hopped on a plane to come see her. And when she goes through her shit, I'm on her line. I don't like putting my personal life on the internet because it's personal to me. I've never even seen people attacking her. And somebody else says, all you had to do was dead it when it started. You should have said, nah, we still cool. Then Meg says, we got each other's number in real life. I don't have to say shit to nobody on the app. And then Asian Doll comes in and she says, we was real friends. Fuck rap. You should have said something yesterday and cleared the shit up. But no, you let that hoe get in your ear and you don't even know that hoe. And then Meg says, Asian, you know me better than that. You know I don't even like all this internet shit. You blew this shit out of proportion because you a fucking hothead. You played the song on live. That was that. What do I need to clear up? This is dumb. And then that's when Asian Dog clapped back and she says, instead of saying something, you hop on her live with the hard eye emoji. That was that other tweet I was talking about. So she reiterated again to Meg. So then somebody else comes in and they say, child, Megan can't even be friends with Kelsey. It's crazy how she's breaking up with all her friends. Yeah, she's definitely the problem. This is what Kelsey meant. When she says something about showing everybody the real Megan. Then Cupcake comes out of nowhere and she has a popcorn emoji. Okay. So Cupcake is eating her popcorn, watching all this fuckery go down. Then after that, um, Asian Doll's sister, Kavia Baby, she was not here for it. She was tired of everybody trying to gain up on her sister. So then she comes in and she says, nah, bitch, you want to try and play victim when you knew what the fuck you and my sister had. Stop the cat trying to fake it like you the peacemaker when she had your back. Right or wrong with that Tory shit, you done. So that was the sister replying back to Meg. And then she starts clapping back at the city girls. And their looks, because they try to call Asian Doll ugly, so she starts posting everybody's mug shots. So y'all go ahead and check out all this drama right here. Y'all bitches on this internet shit, it's a desperate cry for help. Like, it's it's getting sad. Y'all been coming for the city girls since we came out feeling like we didn't deserve to be in rap. First of all, y'all been y'all bitches who been rapping, y'all was mad how me and Carisha came in and we stopped popping instantly. So y'all start y'all been started with those rumors about us fucking doing all of this and all that because that's where that really came from when me and Carisha came in we straight started popping and y'all bitches was been rapping y'all bitches was rapping for longer than us and when we came in we came in with one song we came in being impactful bitches you know they was feeling our style we came right in and became kind of mainstream girls right off the bat so all of that them rumors been transpiring about oh people fucking their boss first of all if i was fucking my boss bitch i'm not gonna be giving him 20 percent of my money Huh? Who for to be fucking somebody and still giving them percentage? P is damn near the richest man in Atlanta. For real, for real, bitch. I won't be living in no condo, bitch. I'll be living in a big ass motherfucking house about five cars. Cause bitch, this this, this ain't no rap cap. This what I'm really this what I'm really saying. Y'all bitches be trying to run off with that narrative to make y'all self feel good about about why y'all shit don't be going nowhere. But bitch, don't play with me like that. Don't play with me like that. Now next. Um, she keep writing on here about fighting and all of that. Bitch, I'm outside every day. Every motherfucking day. Damn, for real, for real. Bitch, I be outside driving around in my shit every day. Um, that's one. I be outside every motherfucking day. 
I DM this girl. This girl still running to her timeline with that bullshit. I gave her my phone number. That's how I know it be about internet shit. It don't be about what y'all think it's about. And it's in for real, for real. It's 14, 15 year old kids, 16 year old kids who be amping this shit up. It don't be no adults. It be motherfucking children. Oh, ooh, the girls are fighting. The girls ain't doing a motherfucking thing for real, for real. Because, bitch, I'm, I'm, bitch, for real, like, you waking up in the morning, you trying to prove, oh, I've been pretty. Bitch, okay. And I'm pretty too. Y'all bitches always be trying to, bitch, first of all, y'all keep bringing up the mug shots. Bitch, that was 10 years ago. Bitch, skin, I got exfoliated. Bitches done glowed up. Bitches done got their teeth done. It's a whole nother, that shit don't even, everybody pretty. Bitch, every, I don't know an ugly bitch in 2020. Y'all always talk about pretty, like, Kill that. Kill that. That shit is kitty and childish. Y'all are little ass girls. Oh, y'all playing mug shots. Bitch, if I go to jail right now with this motherfucking wig on, bitch, I'm going to be pretty too. I went to jail with my motherfucking hair. My friend Brittany did my motherfucking hair on that picture, bitch. And I got woke up out of my sleep. Y'all bitches be tripped out. Y'all be tripped the fuck out. It, it, it's, not, it's not about me. It ain't about nobody else. It's deeper than rap. Y'all bitches be y'all bitches mad because y'all feel like me and Carisha not deserving. If me and Carisha wasn't on do it on the tip, she wouldn't even jump ass on the internet trying to prove that she's a super rapper. That's all y'all try to do. Oh, y'all try to prove that y'all are super rappers. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I do that shit in my sleep. I'm a super rapper for real. And then you don't never see me on here trying to motherfucking prove that I'm a super rapper. I a feature kill a bitches catalog. Bitch, I, we, bitch, we carried into 2021. We gonna, let's talk about bookings and festivals. Something y'all bitches ain't got. Y'all always in somebody's video. Y'all always want to be on the internet being mad, trending for the wrong thing. I don't want to be trending on no motherfucking internet about being mad. Bitches, I don't motherfucking care. And then y'all be quick to say I'm chasing a nigga. Baby. Baby. All these niggas want to fuck JT and this ain't no cap. Like, I don't have to chase no nigga. Y'all like, go kill that fake ass internet scenario about me chasing a nigga. Y'all believe everything y'all see on the nigga. I mean, everything y'all see on the motherfucking internet for one. Bitches have been artists for years. People know how to sell their music. Bitches don't do what they do. Period. Who about to cry? Bitch, I was just having a real life argument. And not no fake ass internet argument. Like... About to cry, bitch. You are y'all kids are delusional. This how I talk. I have a bitches money can be long all they want. My money long too, and I still I'ma still whoop a hoe. Any hoe play with me gonna get beat, gonna get ran up on and beat, and that's just what it is. Don't talk like you like that. Don't act gangster. Don't disrespect me, bitch. And think that you just finna play with me on the internet and you finna drag and you finna none of that shit, gang. I'm not no hoe. I ain't never been no hoe. And any rap bitch that ever play with me, check the status. I been whooping shit. Check the status. Check it. Check it. Check the status. Check it. No cap. I'm a young bitch. I been a young bitch compared to you hoes. What are you talking about? I always stay in my place. I always went my own way. I always had my own fucking lane. Ain't none of you hoes would, ain't shit that you hoes can do to ever bother me, make me feel any type of way. Are you slow? Is you dumb? Bitches talking about being rap bitch. Yeah, and I been there and I and you bitches been listening to me. You bitches been singing my shit. What are you talking about? All right, so you guys just saw the back and forth with Asian Doll's sister, and then JT jumped in to clear up the rumors that her and P were sleeping together, because when um, Asian Doll first wrote, at least I'm not smashing the CEO, initially a lot of people thought it was Megan smashing Jay-Z because the whole Rock Nation situation. But it came out that she was talking about JT smashing P, which JT has denied. And then Young Miami also came out and denied it and basically said that's on King Von, okay? So that was a shot to Asian Doll as well. So, you know, the fans are definitely seeing Meg in a different light. This whole situation is messy. One person even wrote, Megan is trying to gaslight the fuck out of Asian to make her look like she's overreacting. No, bitch, you took her off the song. 
young and she had to find out when the album dropped. Own your shit. I hate manipulative hoes like that, man. So a lot of people are definitely feeling like, okay, Asian Doll has definitely went very hard for Meg Thee Stallion. So for her to find out when the album is released and Meg didn't call her, that's wrong. Because if they're friends and Meg keeps wanting to scream, you have my number, why are you taking this to the internet? Um, Excuse me, Meg. Did you not take all your private shit with 1501 to the internet? Did you not disrespect Carl and all them and make them look like they were the worst people in the world? And then when the contract was finally put out there, we saw that what you said on your live did not match up with the contract. I was young, I, I think I was like 20. And... I didn't know everything that was in that contract. So when I got with Rock Nation, I got management, real management. I got real lawyers. And they was like, do you know that this is in your contract? And I was like, oh, damn, that's crazy. No, I didn't know. So I'm not mad at 1501. I wasn't upset because I'm thinking in my head, oh, well, everybody cool. We all family. It's cool. It's nice. Let me just ask some niggas to renegotiate my contract. <laughs> Soon as I said, I want to renegotiate my contract, everything went left. Like, it just all went bad. It all went left. So now they're telling the bitch that the, she can't drop no music. It's really just like a greedy game. Like, it's really just real greedy. On top of that, with the whole Kelsey situation, Kelsey has been your friend for, I think, like seven years or something like that. Did you call her or did you keep taking it to the Internet when it was about Kelsey? Did you keep throwing shots at Kelsey, throwing diss tracks at the girl? The people I have around me that are actually here for me and are actually my friends don't want shit from me, would never turn on me for no amount of money, no amount of clout, that wouldn't make up stories about me to save face that wouldn't that wouldn't go against the grain just thank god for them i'm telling me these bitches mad what no <laughs> It's funny that now when the shoe's on the other foot, Asian Doll's supposed to handle her with kitten gloves and call her and not take things to the internet. Meg, you are the queen of starting shit on the internet and you throw rocks and you hide your hands. She did the same thing with the whole Nicki Minaj situation when she was all up in Nicki's face and throwing shots at Cardi. Oh, I'm one <laughs> motherfucking wrong thing. I'm gonna go write some shit. <laughs> She did the same thing when she was with Wiz Khalifa and had Wiz Khalifa helping her throw shots at the city girls. So people are finally seeing what I've been saying for months now, that Megan is a social climber and that she will use whoever she can to get herself up there. The reason why she did not do the song with Asian Doll, even though Asian Doll ate on that track, is the fact that city girls are more popping right now. In 2019, when JT was in prison, they weren't popping like that. So she could throw shots at them and be funny towards them. But now that they're popping again, now it's, oh, well, they're more hotter than Asian Dog. Because Asian Dog, let's keep it real, she hasn't had any hits. But if that's your friend and Asian Dog can rap and y'all have been wanting to work together, you owed her at least letting her know, like, you know what? Unfortunately, this is the industry. This is the politics. We're going to go with the more popular artists. I think if she would have heard that directly from Meg, it wouldn't have hurt as much. But to see it you know online and to see all these tiktok videos and she's constantly being reminded that she was replaced yes she was being messy by you know basically putting it all out there but i don't blame her because meg has been doing a lot of shady shit and i think people are just tired of it now what's very interesting is that somebody had asked Carl Crawford, how come Megan has not responded to Cupcake? You know, Megan, the one who calls herself the female Tupac and who brags about her, you know, her pen game. And then, you know, her fans try to come at me and I have to, you know, block a few of y'all, okay? Because I feel like Cupcake would eat Megan. I feel like Cupcake would go way harder and I feel like Cupcake would definitely give Megan some competition and her fans got mad at me. So, like I said, they were blocky on it and we've moved on to another day. But this person basically asked Carl Crawford of 1501 Certified. They said, why Meg acting scared to come back at Cupcake? And Carl replied back and he said, he said, she, you know why. Mm. 
So, like I said, the story is messy, but that is the breakdown. Sorry it's so long. It took a long time to edit this. But like I said, I want to get y'all all all caught up. So enjoy this. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad. Make sure you thumbs up the video because this was a lot of work to put together. Um, Also, share the video. And I will see you guys tomorrow during my live stream. We can all talk about it and sip tea. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.